Hello everyone, in today's video we're going over Lynx. It's a new a JS framework for native. It's made by TikTok, specifically the parent company ByteDance. And from what I've seen, it's it, it's good. Um, they had a few bugs in like the first three days and they fixed that quickly. I'll just show you. Um, for Windows, it was fine on Mac and Linux, but on Windows because of like how they named the directory of the files it would break down and you could not get it to fix I spent at least three hours going to the ends of the earth and back yesterday trying to get it to work but I could not but luckily I seen an announcement a few hours ago that they fixed it so now I'm recording this so let's stop my app and let's get into links so into VS studio we go just uh, make a new terminal and the setup is pretty simple just say npm create rspd at latest and, and that will start going so just create a name for your project I'll just say links test um, TypeScript or JavaScript, whichever you'd like, I'll just say ty TypeScript. You can add prettier or other tools to make your code look better. I'm not going to add anything and we can say CD links test. NPM install. And I'll cut back to you when that's done. All right, so now that that's done, we can just run npm dev. It's starting, making the build, and a QR code should pop up. Yep, so what you can do now is with your phone, you can go onto the GitHub. If you're on Android, you can just download it right here. Or if you're on iOS, there's a more roundabout way you have to go through it hold on let me see if I can find it real quick yep you have to like use a iOS simulator for Android apps it's roundabout but it's more just like one or two more steps but you should still be able to work with it so I should put I'll put up um, a screen cord on my phone somewhere on the screen maybe bottom right so what you can now do is with the link explorer app you just scan the QR code and you'll get basically a live server Yep, so as you can see, let me just open source app.tsx. Any changes I make right now should show up immediately. Let me just change this to stigma. Save that. And it's changed. So I'll just go over a few things. Switching from React Native, um, Flutter, whatever it is you use um it seems fairly simple to switch like for example instead of using a, a div tag you'd use a view element which is basically a div but for ios android and web uh, works for all of them and there are some like caveats like for example you can't scroll using a view element you have to use like a scroll view i'll just show you so let me just delete all of this and then I'll create a scroll view element and I'll just populate it with the random items no that's not what so I'll just say view we'll use inline style for now so um style curly braces width quotes 300 pixels let's copy that and change that to height 
and we'll give it a background color so you can actually see it background color down here and just set that to red or something then we'll just copy that paste it multiple times and change one of them to blue so as you can see um, it's not scrolling and that's because you have to set an orientation so scroll orientation vertical save that and then you have to define a width and height of the scroll container so uh, remove that style let me just copy this brother thank you paste that there remove the background color change the width to 100% and height to 100% and hopefully now it should be scrollable yep as you can see it now scrolls and another great thing about this is that you can use nesting like you would in SAS. For, so, for example, if I said uh, dot parent, and then in that I said dot children, brother, and then I said background color white. So, if I gave the scroll view element, um. A class you don't need to say class name you just say class if I gave it a class of parent and I gave you excuse me gave it a, a class of children and then I removed the inline style because that overwrites it it should change and yep it does and there are like caveats to this for example, you know, a major bug was discovered three days in. Even the um, developers themselves don't recommend you building from scratch. They recommend you to integrate with an existing application, but I've got high hopes for it. The devs seem very, very dedicated, like they fix major bugs within hours of you reporting there. And hopefully this framework can grow to be one of the greats. And I'll be there to give you the summary. More life.